Hello everyone, it's Aidan Gibson here from AidanGibson.com. In this video I want to teach you how to put these buttons on your website so when people visit your site they can connect with you on Facebook, YouTube or Twitter or any other site you want really. Um, to get these icons you can just Google Facebook icon, um, go to images, there's hundreds there to choose from or go to iconfinder.com and you can get the size there, uh, I go for 64 you can change the um, background colour as well, it's quite a cool site I'll put the link to this site below this video um, the way I do add these buttons to my site is I go to the WordPress back office, go to add new post and um, start a new post, align it in the centre and go to add an image and upload a new image. I believe I saved these images on my desktop. Yep, there's Facebook. And the title, you could just say, or you could say Aiden Gibson on Facebook, or just leave it as Facebook. Description, you could just put your name there. Or Oh, and um, the link URL, what you want to do is delete that one, but I don't put the link to Facebook in this one. The reason for that is because if someone was to click on whatever link is here, um, they get taken away from your website. They don't. It doesn't open up a separate window. We want people to stay on the website and just to open it up in a separate window. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Alignment none. Full size 64, insert into post, and should be good. There it is. Highlight it, then go to the link, and you can put the link in there. So we'll go to Facebook and copy the URL, and then insert it into here, paste it. And open a new window and insert. Job done. And then just do a few spaces and go to the next image. So I'll just do it again just to clarify what I'm doing. In this one, I want Twitter. Let's just copy that. Get to back to your post. Go to select file and this one put the Twitter image and description. Probably best maybe just put Aiden Gibson on Twitter or this is your name. Um, again, delete that. Alignment none, full size, insert into post. And then highlight it and put the link. And open a new window. And select that one. I'll leave it at that. I won't do uh, YouTube or LinkedIn or anything. Uh, I think you've got the idea how I do it. And then I go to the HTML tab. And then basically, this is your code for your icons that link to your social media sites. So you want to highlight it all. Copy it. And then you can save this post, so if you want to come back to it later, don't publish it. Um, and then you go to widgets, you want to add a new widget.
and the widget you want is a text. So scroll down, get a text. Computer's always a bit jerky when I'm doing these recordings. So I'll put it at the top just to show you what I'm doing. Let it go. Um, you can put in a title, connect with me, or something like that. And then in here, you could put, paste your HTML code for your icons. And there we have it. So save and close and uh, I'll show you should be at the top of here. Yep. There's in two new icons and when you click on them you'll be taken to another window rather than um, taken away from this site. So that's how to add buttons onto your site. Um, I've struggled to find a video to teach me how to do this so I hope you found this interesting and useful. Another useful um, way to do this, a simpler way. Um, is my friend Cheryl did a blog post on it. I'll, again, I'll put a link to this blog post below this video. How to add a signature to your blog, and she did it. Also did a video on how to use buttonshut.com for a simpler way to um, add buttons onto your website. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.